Hey guys, welcome back to Thoughtful Thursdays. So today's devotion is entitled Wind. And the verses from John 3, 7, and 8. You should not be surprised at my saying, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You hear its sound, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with everyone born of the Spirit. The White Mountains of New Hampshire and Maine feature some rugged territory. For more than 60 years, New Hampshire's Mount Washington held the record for the fastest wind gust ever recorded on Earth. The 231 mile per hour gust was recorded on April 12, 1934 at the Mount Washington Observatory, and it still stands at the strongest record in the Western Hemisphere and the Northern Hem Hemisphere. The observatory sits at the elevation of 6,288 feet, and for a variety of reasons, it experiences some amazingly bad weather. Across our planet, the wind does many things. It plays a part in complex weather patterns. It provides wind power. It gives life to sailboats and gentler winds help pollinate plants to name just a few of its functions. So it is with the Holy Spirit. We do not see him, yet his effects are felt in countless ways. Think of how many believers there are all over the world. Now consider that the Holy Spirit is within each one helping us, comforting us, counseling us, and reminding us all that Jesus taught. He empowers us. He envelops us in love and cultivates in us his fruit, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, and 23. We cannot see the Spirit, yet the evidence of His presence is everywhere. Praise God for His generosity in being present with us in this powerful way. Oh Lord, thank you for transforming my life through the Holy Spirit. Your ways are so wise and so loving. Help me to recognize your presence and to freely cooperate with you. So guys, sorry I'm a little late today. I've been trying to look for the perfect tree skirt for my other tree, but um, yes, the wind. If you never know which way it's gonna blow. If you're really in tune with the Holy Spirit, you never know what he's gonna tell you to do next. Um, it can be an inspiring word. It can be for you to help someone, but I, Pray that we can all learn to grow nearer and listen more to the Holy Spirit so that he may use us to bring forth his will and to help others. So guys, I've already started decorating. I'll have a short video out soon of everything. God bless. Love you. Bye.